So now that we understand the basics of Marx's orientation to sociology and his notions behind the problems that are caused by groups in society, we need to understand exactly how it is that Marx describes social change as occurring. And he uses something called the dialectic process. Now, the dialectic is sort of a diagram, if you will, of his idea about how societies progress to a better place. So let's see if we could figure out exactly how the dialectic process works. The first thing we should probably understand about the dialectic is that it wasn't the work of Marx. It was the work of one of his mentors, Hegel. And Hegel used the dialectic process to understand how we would come to a state of more rational thinking. Hegel was a social philosopher. He wasn't a sociologist, nor an economist, as Marx was. Uh, and so Hegel used the idea of the dialectic process to try and describe how we elevated our thinking, so to speak, to become better people, better societies. And so while the notion of the dialectic was original to Hegel, and it was used as a process to describe change, Marx borrowed this idea and used it as a process to describe social change. There are three key parts or elements to the process of the dialectic. The first of those is your thesis. It's essentially your starting point. It's where you are and it's your status quo in effect. If we think about the thesis or the starting point in terms of society, it is exactly where we are at this given moment in time, where we are today. Marx said that in order for change to occur, there would have to be some opposition to the way things are right now. And he described this in terms of being an antithesis. The antithesis then in this equation becomes the mechanism for change. It's that opposing group. It's those people or those ideas in society that do not support the status quo and that become some sort of vehicle for changing our society. What happens when the thesis and the antithesis clash? You have a synthesis. And Marx would assert that this synthesis is progress. It's a meeting of the two groups and when we come out the other side of this clash or this revolution that Marx would have asserted we needed to have, society would be a better place for most people involved. It's important to note that the dialectic is a process. And in being a process, then it does not end. So once we reach the synthesis, the process will start again. The synthesis will become your thesis, your starting point. You'll have a group that will come in, a mechanism for change, which will oppose the status quo. Those two groups will clash, have a revolution, and the process will come to another synthesis. You can see how this sort of idea might help to move society forward, and that's exactly what Marx would have thought. So let's take a look at the dialectic process visually and see if that gives us a little bit clearer understanding. Right, so here we can see our starting point, our thesis. We can see that there's an opposing view to that, our antithesis. These two groups or these two ideas clash together in a crisis or a revolution, and out the other side of that comes our synthesis, the meeting of those two ideas to help society progress to a better place for most people. Now again, remember, I told you this is a process. So once we reach the synthesis, we loop right back around again to the thesis and we start this process over and that is what helps us to progress. All right, I hope this helps. Take care.